Hi there, this is Jill Woods from Crowd Connections and this is the next video in my WordPress snippet series looking at elements of WordPress and how you can use them to improve your WordPress websites. Um, today I've been asked to show you how to put a text box into the sidebar on your website and then how to edit that text box. Um, so if you haven't watched the video already about adding elements to the sidebar you might want to watch that one first before we go on um, and do the text box um, adding and editing. So I'm going to go straight in and to find your text box you need to go to dashboard oh, I must forget I have to click that twice and then we're going to go down to appearances and underneath appearance there's widgets we're going to go into widgets and then we can see the setup here and over on the right hand side we've got a primary sidebar and over on the left we've got the options of, of widgets that we can add. At the moment I've got a text box which is the sign up for my newsletter, I've got a search element, I'm just going to move it up to the top and then I've got a, a text box which is the uh, my Twitter feeds. So to add in a new text box all you do is click and drag the text element from the left hand side across and into the location that you want it um, on the right hand side so I'm just going to pop it at the bottom down here just to show you how to do it. Once you let go it'll open up the edit features on that particular text box and it's asking for a title. You don't have to put a title in, you can see the two I've got already don't have titles set up um, but I'm going to use a title for this one, I'm just going to call it free stuff. Okay, and then go down to the box here, and this is where you can put in the, the content that you want to appear in this text box. Um, and just to demonstrate this, I'll just add in some text. So I'll put um, the int. Oh, it helps if I can type. Internet is full of all sorts of free marketing stuff. It can be confusing. Hopefully, my um, selection of free small business marketing tools will help you choose wisely. Okay, so that's the text. Um, the next thing I need to do is to add in a little bit of code. Now don't panic, I've written this code out for you and you'll see it in the, in the um, text below this video. And I'll show you, it's just here. So I'm just going to highlight that and copy that and then go back here, Ooh, go back here. Um, and now what I need to do is insert that little bit of code just in front of the text that I want to be the clickable link, okay? So I'm just gonna place my cursor there and I'm going to type in, um, to, sorry, paste in that bit of code. Now, the bit of text I want to use is this. It's free small business marketing tools, okay? If you can, try and use words as the clickable link that in, in include your keywords. Um, it, it does uh, it does help a little bit for SEO purposes, but it's good practice. Um, so all I'm gonna do is click on that and drag it, and I'm dragging it into this space here after the, um, the arrow at the end of blank. There's blank, inverted commas, then an arrow ahead. I'm just gonna put the text in there. Okay, so you can see it says target equals blank arrowhead, then it's free small business marketing tools, which is what I want to be my clickable link, the end bit of the code, and then the end of that sentence. Okay, now what I need to do is to tell this bit of code where to look, where am I going to send people when they click on this link here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down and save that bit that I've done already, let that grey spin here just spins once that stops spinning it's saved and I'm going to go back up and I'm going to go to my website so back to my home page and then I'm going to go to my free resources section because this is where I want to point people okay and so I'm then just going to double click on that oops come on come on you know you want to thank you um, and copy the URL for the page I want to point people to and then I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Oops. 
and back into my widget section and then over to the right hand side where is it there we go so I know it's this free stuff section here so click on little drop down it'll open my box up again and now I'm going to paste the URL in between these two sets of inverted commas here okay so just place the cursor in there and paste that in okay and then we're pretty much done um, all I need to do now is go to the bottom here and I'm going to tick automatically add paragraphs and this just spaces the text out better if I put some returns in so let's just make sure that that is the start of a new line hopefully my selection of and then I want my clickable link to be on a new line so I'll put that in and then I'll put this um, down on a new line as well okay so my clickable link is going to stand out because it's going to be on a line all of its own okay so basically just to talk you through what this code is saying is the B stands for bold so I want this bit of the the, the text box to be in bold and we're saying this link here this page here is where we're linking to and we're linking to that page by somebody clicking on this text here and then this is just closing off those two bits of code that we've put in there the element in here that says target equals blank that tells the internet to open up this this link when somebody clicks on it in a new window and I tend to use this if I'm linking to an external website so I could be linking to somebody else's website and if I do that I generally ask it to open in a new window so that my window on my website doesn't close so people can still go back into it and use it okay but when I'm using an internal link I do tend to just delete that section out so if you want to do that you can just highlight it and delete it but then do make sure you also delete that space there at the back oops I've deleted my inverted commas okay so just delete that space at the end as well otherwise the code won't work okay so I think we're done I'm going to scroll down I'm going to save let that gray spin just do its thing down here done so I'm going to close that and then I'm going to go to my home page and scroll down and hopefully you can see oops where is it down at the bottom here free stuff the internet is full of all sorts of free marketing stuff but it can be confusing hopefully my selection of free small business marketing tools will help you choose wisely so if I just click on that hopefully that should take me to yeah there we go to the right page and there we are so it's really really simple to go back in and obviously edit the content of that text box you just click on dashboard back in down here to widgets over to the right hand side and open up that text box by clicking on the little grey arrow and then you can go in and you can copy cut delete do whatever you want with this content um, put some new content in if you've got a new new um, item of free stuff you want to flag up you could just simply put a return in and type away whatever you wanted to say in there if you do want to bold anything you can use this arrowhead bold arrowhead and then down at the bottom here another just finish it off with this closing tab for the bold um, but that's it pretty much to delete um, the content obviously just highlight it and delete it as you would normal text so um, that's it pretty much um, I hope you found that useful and um, please feel free to add in any comments at the bottom of this video in the box below or any questions that you might have um, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can and please do let me know if there are any other elements of WordPress you'd like me to do little short videos on I'd be um, most happy to do that and thank you very much for your time